This video is going to be about my April 2023 YouTube AdSense revenue, so let's get right into it. So for April 2023, I made $45.86 with YouTube AdSense, and I'm overall pretty happy about it. It is less than I made in March, unfortunately, but that's okay. I don't think I was as active throughout the month, and I'll just click on the revenue tab here. So my highest paid day was April 21st with three dollars and three cents and my lowest was april 8th with 83 cents and i noticed that normally like when my watch time was higher that's when i get paid more and it made sense because the more watch time on my videos and the more ads are likely to actually get watched and run so for april 21st my highest day I had 40.6 another high day april 4th i had 40.1 and i made two dollars and five cents so it doesn't always correlate together, but 27.4 over here and then 20 or $2.18. Like sometimes it is a bit lower. Like let's see my lowest day, I had 16.7. So it does vary quite a bit. I mean, April 14th was pretty high at 34.5 and I had $1.86 actually these both these days. But I feel like I averaged a little bit over a dollar every day for the most part in April. Um, and my watch time was down. Honestly, everything was down compared to March. But like I said before, like I wasn't as active as I was in April or as I was in March. I don't think like I was posting shorts a lot more and I think I may have posted more videos, but I'd have to actually count them. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this because I wasn't making anything with YouTube before. So any money is definitely very helpful. My average view duration is 3 minutes and 11 seconds, so I'm still trying to get that up. Um, and my views were a bit down, and my impressions were a bit down. And then I have a 6.8% click-through rate, and I'm also trying to work on that as well. Going to audience, I'm not going to spend too much time on here. So this is really just a revenue video for the most part. So getting to my revenue tab, my CPM and RPM are very low. So my RPM is an average of $3.46. And then my CPM is an average of $9.53. So I'm really trying to figure out how to get that higher because I feel like I'm in a niche that's really profitable. So I don't really understand why it's so low. But I think it has to do with maybe my average view duration and the amount of views that I get because some videos of mine struggle to even get 100 views and no one is going to want to pay to put an ad on a video that barely gets 100 views, especially if they're going for a certain kind of audience. So that's something I'm trying to work on is having better videos, like better quality, better thumbnails, like everything like that. I also would like to post more, but sometimes it's hard to have better quality and post more while trying to balance everything else. But looking at my previous months here, so I started in November and I think my very first monetized day was November 7th. So my income is still going up for the most part, except this is less than March, but it's more than February. So February I had $37.57. March, I had $54.55, and April is $45.86. So, what I am happy about is that I was able to cash out on YouTube, I think, in March. So, um, with these past two months, because on YouTube, you have to have a minimum of $100, like, added up as a total in order to cash out. So, I actually made... $100.43, but that's, I don't think that's actually right. Let me just do the math real quick. 45.86 plus 54.55. Yeah, $100.41. That makes more sense to me. Um, between April and March. So I actually get to cash out this month, which I'm really excited about. But one of my goals for YouTube is to make a minimum of $100 every month because that way I can cash out every single month. So that's kind of one of the goals I'm working towards right now for YouTube because I'd really love to get paid this way every month. And looking at my top earning content for April, my top video is actually how to start KDP in 2023 for free, full tutorial for beginners. And that was almost double or more than double than the second video in April. And that was how much money I made in March. And that made sense. Those usually do well. Resize Amazon KDP color. 
or cover and then quick and easy create coloring books in Canva and then repeating patterns tutorial. So this coloring book has been in the top for most of the months. So I'm pretty surprised that these three are up here. Um, I also have seen the resize Amazon KDP cover a little bit, but I'm just a little bit shocked that this is kind of my top earning content for the month, but obviously I'm happy about that. How I earn money over here is just mostly by watch page ads. Did not earn a lot of money by shorts. I actually made 24 cents on shorts. So not really a lot of money, but I think shorts really help with getting traction, like gaining subscribers and um, getting more exposure. Videos, I made a good chunk of the money, so $45.62. And most of my ads were skippable video ads at 60.5%, but my channel did make money from these other ones as well. So I'm just going to click on this top earning content video just to kind of look at the statistics sits or analytics there we go um about the video so it looks like it kind of gained a bit of traction recently and it's made a total let's see this is since published so let's just go to february it was published january but i just want to kind of look at how it's increased each month so February, it had 1.2k views, 81.5 watch time hours, 20 subscribers, and $6.21. So, let's look at it for March. It had 1.7k views, 115.2 watch time hours, 27 subscribers, and $8.22. So, that's definitely higher than February, which is good. And then for April, it looks like it's very similar to March. So, it only made $8.22. Well, I say only as in, like, just compared to April, an $8.72. So, that's about a $0.50 cent difference. Uh, the views were actually down a little bit. The watch time was up, and the subscribers were up, and the revenue was up. So, that's kind of where I get the information where I feel like the watch time hours are a little bit more important than views sometimes. Like, I think views are definitely important because people pay for the ads throughout views, but I have ads on my entire video, so one person could watch four ads where another person could watch one. So, I think the longer people are watching the video, then the more money I can potentially make, but I'm just kind of guessing on that here. But I'm really happy to kind of see it keep going up and it keep doing well, so that's really exciting. I'm just going to go back to the sentence published so we can kind of look at the trajectory here. Um, it's a little bit different how YouTube kind of shows the statistics for this, but I'm really happy that it seems to be gaining some sort of traction. And the top traffic sources are YouTube search, which is really great because I want to have searchable content. So really happy about that. But overall, I think that April went pretty well for my YouTube channel. Like I said before, my goal for YouTube is to make a minimum of $100 a month, so that way I can cash that out at least. But for right now, my plan for May is to just continue making videos, try to have better quality videos, try to post more, have better thumbnails, things like that, and be more active. So we'll see how May goes, hopefully. And I really appreciate all of your support watching this video, commenting, liking, subscribing sharing my videos, like everything like that is super, super helpful and it is really supporting me and my channel. So, I greatly appreciate it. So, thank you very much. I really am so, so thankful that for everyone that subscribes and everyone that watches the videos and all of you that just support my channel, whether you donate money or not. All of these things you can do for free if you just watch the video and comment, like, things like that, and it truly does help. Thank you so much for watching and listening to this video, and I hope that you have a great day.